Well, Albus, how are things? I'm sure you're going to give me some good news, right? Uh, well, Detective, it's a bit of a mixture of both. Uh, some good news and some very bad news. Which would you like first? Okay, give me the bad news first, Albus. Ah, right. The other Albus from the alternate world didn't actually make it home safe as I said, and is in fact in evil little Kelly's castle right now as we speak, and she's probably getting him to do something pretty terrible. What? Albus, what's the good news? The good news is, I found out where he is. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is not good at all. What are we going to do, Albus? Well, to be very honest with you, Detective, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. But I suggest you do something fast, because as you know, whatever evil little Kelly does to Albus from the other world now affects what happens in this world drastically. This day just keeps getting worse and worse. As soon as we finally stop evil little Kelly, she manages to get us again. As always, Detective. Now, we need a plan. How do we get Albus back to his own world? Yes, go on. I don't really have a plan, Detective. I told you. I was hoping you did. I thought you did. It really sounded like you had a plan the way you just made that last statement. Uh, no, Detective, I've no plan, but leave it with me. I am a genius after all. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sure I'll come up with something. <laughs> Well, Detective, what did Albus say? Did he manage to locate the Albus from the other world? Yes, Your Highness, he did. Good. So, Detective, where is he? I don't think you're going to like this, Your Highness, but it seems as though the Albus from the alternate world ended up in evil little Kelly's castle instead of going home. What? Detective, you can't be serious. Are you saying that as of right now, evil little Kelly is in possession of a mad scientist? Yes, Your Highness. That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh no. What do we do, Detective? I honestly don't know, Your Highness, and I have no idea what evil little Kelly's plans are for Albus from the other world. All we can guess is that she's going to get him to do something truly terrible. That's for sure. Okay, Detective. We need to come up with a plan to rescue Albus and send him back to his own world. Yes, Your Highness. But what is the plan? And whatever it is, we're going to have to do it fast. Okay, Detective. Let's think. What do you think, Joker? Do you think Albus will be able to make that key to the Phantom Zone? I don't know, Romulus. All we can do is hope that the Albus we have is just as clever as the Albus from this world. I'm sure he is. Hopefully, Joker. Because if he doesn't, it's going to be your head. You're the one that screwed this all up in the first place. Hey, I resent that. If it wasn't for me, we'd know nothing about the Phantom Zone. I wouldn't pat yourself on the back just yet, Joker. Evil little Kelly is not very happy with you. 
Well, here she comes now. Speak of the devil, and she shall appear. What are you guys just standing around for? What's up, princess? Is there something you need? Yes. The scientist needs something special to make this key. What is it, princess? Tell me. Maybe I can help. He needs a certain type of diamond, and supposedly there's only one in the world. It belongs to a young billionaire named Bruce Wayne from Gotham City. Gotham City? Ah, that's my favorite city in the world. Home. Do you know this Bruce Wayne? Yeah, I've heard of him. This should be a walk in the park, stealing from a party boy billionaire. It'll be easier than stealing candy from a baby. <laughs> Perfect. So what are we waiting for? Go and get it! Well, you see, Princess, Gotham City is not the safest place for a criminal like me right now. Not with the Batman running around. Batman? What's a Batman? Uh, he's like Superman, but worse. Then don't let him catch you and you'll have nothing to worry about. Now get out of here and don't come back until you have that diamond! Your wish is my command. Hello there, thug, man, criminal, guy, whatever your name is. I need some information. Hey, wait a minute. You're the Joker, right? What are you doing around here? You haven't been seen in Gotham City in a long time. We thought you were dead. Well, open your eyes and take a look. I'm not dead, am I? Now, as I said, I'm looking for some information. Okay, what kind of information? Well, you see, I'm looking for some information about a guy called Bruce Wayne. I'm sure you've heard of him, right? I'm just looking to see what he does with his day and when he leaves his mansion and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of Bruce Wayne, the billionaire, right? What are you planning on doing, Joker? You gonna steal from this guy? Cause if so, I wanna cut. You thugs are all the same. You sicken me. It's all about money with you guys. Well, take it or leave it, Joker. I want some money if I'm gonna give you some information. Fine. Just give me the information. Hold on, hold on. Exactly how much is this information worth to you, Joker? You're beginning to annoy me, thug. Let's say a hundred thousand? Make it two hundred thousand and we have a deal. Sounds good. Now give me the information. Well, Joker, as you can probably imagine, billionaires are busy people, and Bruce Wayne is a busy man. He always seems to go missing, especially at night, on these business trips and stuff. The only person that looks after that house is his butler. Can't think of his name, it's like Alfred or something like that, I don't know. So your best bet is to hit that joint at night on a weekend, and you should be in and out of there without a trace. Just keep out of that butler's way, and you'll be fine. Ah, sounds good. Thanks for the information. Hey, Joker, what about my money, huh? You'll get your money. Relax. I have to rob the place first, don't I? Oh, yeah. That kind of makes sense. And Joker, look out for the Batman. I can imagine he'll be on the hunt for you if he hears you're back in Gotham City. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll be sure to be careful. <laughs> 